floor from Zolta and others where we're showing two wonderful artists. And I want to discuss the work of Alex Jones, uh, whose work you can see uh, behind me. Um, Alex was working primarily with language, meaning, and the ontology of such. And what he first started working with several years ago was blocks of language that made a basic syntactical rule. He would choose a word, choose a number, and then randomly select the words beneath it. And what's interesting about this work is that our minds are automatically sort of enabled to read meaning into an actual random structure. And what, what he is work, what Alex is working with here is the inevitable meaning engendering nature of human beings. And if you move over to his other mode of work, what he's actually produced here are glyphs. They look like actual language forms, but they originate from his Alex's attempt to show the gaps in language, the form or the structure, or represent the syntactical rules within language. He's also encapsulated them within a bright, vivacious painting that almost that inundates, if I can use that phrase, outwards, meaning and vision. We have expression, we have form, we have layering, we have content. And the account here is of language whose understanding still escapes us, where all of the dualities and concepts that we import into the work are still overtaken by the whole. And all of language and all of meaning gestures to a whole that actually escapes us. So it's rather as if cognition itself is in a relationship with finitude that allows it to make sense, but is also constructed towards an infinite that actually gives it sense which it can't encapsulate. Once again, I think this is a remarkable work by a, a remarkable young painter. And it's left us with a strangely compelling and telling contemporary work of art. Thank you.